Hello, uh, my name is Chan. I'm from uh, Cisco Networking Academy. And today we're going to talk about domain name system in relation to with ARP, all right? Uh, for more information about our academy, please refer to our website, World Wide Web, Cisco, MMU.com. All right, so today we're going to talk about DNS. We're going to do a DNS packet trace in one subnet. And we're going to see uh, how inter-subnet communication relate to DNS. And we're going to do a multi-level DNS. All right, suppose everything is in one network like this, and this is the IP addressing. All right, uh, this host name 1.1.1, the host name is FIT, and you have a DNS server here. All right, suppose this PC 1.1.2, instead of pinging the IP address, you ping FIT. What will you see in the sniffer? Assume the DNS server for all PC is 1.1.1.3, which is here. Alright? So first, you need to find out who is FIT. Alright? What is the name of the FIT? Okay? So uh, you need to resolve the FIT name to an IP address. So you need to contact the DNS server first to get the IP address of a FIT. But do you have the DNS server MAC address? Uh, so you need to get do the address resolution to get the DNS server MAC address. All right. Uh, bear in mind, most of the DNS server is located in another subnet. So remember the previous lecture we talked about the AR, ARP and inter-subnet communication. Uh, so there's uh, some relation with that. All right. So in this diagram, can you do a packet trace? What would you see? What would you see if everything in one network? What would you see? Can you think and solve it? Uh, okay, let's try. Huh? What is the source MAC address? So this PC ping this PC. So the source will be AA2. Destination? What would no, it should be broadcast. Alright? Then what's the destination IP? 3. Alright? Okay, so it's a where what is the DNS server IP address? MAC address. Okay. Let's make it bigger. 16. Alright. I think 14 will be big enough. Okay. Then uh, AA3 will reply back to A2. DNS server MAC is equal to AA3. Alright. Uh, this is the first thing. 14. Okay. Then, what will happen? What happened? Next. Then say AA2. AA3. 11. Uh, what is FIT IP address? Right, this, uh, this is a DNS query. Alright, mm -hmm. so then this one you will reply back A2 3112. Okay, FIT IP address is 1.1.1.1. Okay, uh, this is what is going to be happen. Alright, then the next thing is AA. Oh, it's the same. Like this one. Just that now this one will be AA1. 
um, what is uh, FIT one dot one dot one dot one MAC address, right? So then they say FIT AA one, okay? Then only you have the same thing here. A1 ping request and then here ping respond okay so this is what you see if the D is DNS server and everything in one subnet any question no uh, clear uh, okay let's do the slideshow Okay, now the next thing is uh, there is three kind of resolution. Uh, one is the name resolution. So you resolve the name to the IP address. Okay, this is done by contacting the DNS server. Then you also have a address resolution where you map the MAC address to the IP address. So you have address resolution then you have name resolution okay uh, in some services you also have service resolution like you map the telephone number to a TCP port number so this is more to the advanced level okay let me get a notepad here All right so okay so on the low low level lowest level you have the address resolution correct then at the middle level you have the name okay domain name to IP address correct so what happened you open up a browser and you type in the domain name correct then the domain name will resolve the IP address to you then the IP address, then they will resolve the MAC address as a particular subnet. Okay? But on top of this, what you have now? On top of this. Is it enough just to have a DNS only? What else on top of the DNS is what? So we have Google. Alright, you have Bing. Alright? All the search engine right so this billion dollar question soft right okay Google is a very big company all right so on top of this is what on top of Google is what uh, so yet to be found okay a uh, trillion dollar question okay uh, so you all can solve it or what you run on top of Google you can do things better than Google uh, then it's a trillion dollar question all right so some say uh, is it social networking okay maybe maybe not okay who knows we don't know yet okay clear so right now we are here okay all right okay so let's get back to the PowerPoint slide okay so normally uh, in the past year exam question uh, normally this is what I gave and normally only 20% get it all right Okay, twenty percent of the students will get all right, uh, despite many practice. Uh, okay, so there's a sniffer one and a sniffer two, and then uh, so this PC ping FIT. So what you see in sniffer one, what you see in sniffer two. So I write down. I give you a sheet, one line, one mark, or one line, half mark. Uh, 
So if there's a eight lines, uh, the question is four marks. Uh. Okay, uh, so sometimes the DNS server is here, sometimes it's in another subnet. So all possible combination you should be able to do. You relate this lecture with the previous lecture on address resolution. Okay, yeah. Any question? So later on, probably in the Wednesday, we're going to do some drill on past year exam. All right. Uh, but for those who from the video one, uh, sorry la, huh? We won't be able to do much. All right. You can send us an email and see what you can do. All right. So another thing about address resolution is that uh, each PC has its own up cache. So if you have never contacted a host, you will never have the MAC, the host MAC address. Okay. So let's say one dot one dot one. He never contacted one dot one dot two, and YC versa. So in AA1, he will never have AA2 MAC address. Okay, it can never have. All right, the ad address is local in the database. All right. So then in this network, this network, you only have AA1, AA2, and R1, only here. And in this network, you have BB2, BB1, BB3, and R2. You over here, you won't see AA1 and AA2 or R1. You will never see. Similar over here, you will never see BB2, BB1, BB3, or R2. You will never hear. Okay? Clear? Clear. Okay. Now, the next thing is uh, the local DNS only store local names. Alright? So, like MMU server, DNS server, he will only store these few names. Alright? He will not store. Uh, Uniten server name, alright, correct, because they don't know what kind of name they will be stored. Then other names will be forwarded to uh, another DNS server at a higher level. So in this case, you have two levels. Uh, I'm going to show you the packet tracer file. First level is at the company level, and the second level will be a DNS. DNS will be stored at the ISP DNS server level. And you see how does the DNS server work in Packet Tracer. So let's have the Packet Tracer. Okay. So this is company EE. This is company FF. And this is company GG. Alright. So this, all these PC will point to the DNS server in their local company. You can see here. Uh, the DNS server is 43... 43.2.1 which is here then you can see the DNS server here is uh, okay 4.1 which is here then the DNS server here for this one is 6.1 alright so we let's click on the DNS server and you see the DNS server you can see there's only you only store the name for the EE company. Alright, there's no FF company. Company EE, you saw that? Alright, anything they don't know, you forward it to the root, and the root is 42.43.1.1, which is this one. Alright, so in the root server, you can see it will store all the company name server only. Okay? So which only the company name server. Where is the all the company name server? It doesn't know where the company web server is. Okay, it doesn't know. It just know the DNS server is where it is. Okay. So suppose you want to ping uh, a web server from, let's say from, from here to here. All right. Uh, okay, you can see successful. All right. From here to here. What happens is that this PC will contact the DNS server here. The DNS server cannot find the name for this machine in it because it's in another company, correct? So it will forward it to the DNS server here. The DNS server will forward it to the DNS server here. And come back to here. 
come back to here then come back to here then only uh, he got the IP address for the machine and you will forward to here and come back alright so let's do the simulation okay So let's ping company FF. All right, FF. Okay, enter. All right. So let's close down this one. You can see. Go forward. So first forward to here. Then forward to this switch. Uh, because there's the address resolution. All right. That's why uh, you can see multiple of this one. All right. Uh, okay. Then we go to here. Uh, we we'll go to the ISP router. Uh, can see from the ISP router, go to the ISP switch. Then go to ISP DNS. ISP DNS is here. All right. Okay. Then we come back to the ISP router. Uh, from the ISP DNS. Then it goes down, goes down, goes down to the DNS server, all right? For the FF, because it's contacting FF, you can see here, it's contacting the FF, all right? Uh, then uh, go forward, we come back, come back to the router, come back, uh, go back to the ISP DNS server. All right. Uh, then the ISP DNS server come back, come back, come back. Go to back to the EE DNS server. Then the EE DNS server come back. Uh, go back to the PC one. Uh, now the PC one can send a ping. Can send a ping. Uh, he know where is FF. Uh, FTP server is and goes here, goes here, goes here. Okay, we got back a reply. They come back, come back all the way back to the EE. All right, that's how the things complete. Uh, I can email you this file. All right, you want? Okay, I email you this file. Okay. Uh, any question? So you can see this PC will contact the DNS server here. Alright. Uh, let's put here. This PC will contact the DNS server here. Okay. And this one cannot find the name in it. So we forward it to the root server. Then the root server got the DNS server for everybody. Alright. So you want to contact company FF. So company FF, you go to company FF DNS server. Then the company FF DNS server, come back here. Come back here. Alright. Then now he got the uh, FTP server, company FF FTP server. Alright. So then he go back and inform EE DNS server. The EE DNS server respond back to this PC. Alright. Now this PC already got the, the IP address of here, so you can straight away ping and come back here. Okay, clear. Uh, so this is how it actually work for two level. But in a uh, operational network, you may have three level. Uh, you have country level, then you go to the root server. Uh, okay. Okay. So thank you, everybody. Uh, if you have any question, you have seen the simulation. So if you have any question, you can send us an email. Uh, the slides will be available at this uh, MMU, uh, CiscoMMU.com. If you want the packet tracer file, send us an email. Thank you.